what is going on guys and welcome to the channel uh, my name is Austin I own quick time towing and today we're gonna do a day in the life of, of owning a tow company um, we gotta go get an Evo first thing it's one of my buddy's cars so I'm going to pick up one of my guys now he's gonna help me load it up it's a it's a pain in the butt to load this thing but I love doing it it's a beautiful car we got to take it out to a performance shop in Salem uh, I know a little bit later in the day I got to go to Kernersville North Carolina and pick one pick a I think it's a 28 foot toy hauler camper could be a 24 foot I moved so many campers here recently I don't know which end is up um, we gotta go down there pick it up and drop it off somewhere in Christiansburg I think the guy is trying to find a place to store it right now but uh, we're gonna go get this Evo and I will pick y'all up when we get to his house all right so we're here and of course he ain't making it easy on us all the way down there truck we're gonna back the truck down the problem is <clears throat> a bug flew in my eye it's really really tight right where that truck is so we're gonna have to finagle and position the truck but should be all right we'll get it loaded up cut through bits and pieces of that because I just, just I just took my time went slow went through all these wheel straps strap down all four this thing is a full blown race car pretty cool pretty cool so I'm gonna throw uh, all four wheel straps pick it back up and we raise the bed back up Involved automotive in Salem, they're a really, really high class performance shop. Uh, they're gonna get this thing right, so I'll pick y'all up when, uh, when we get there. All right, we got the Evo up the deck. They uh, 
one of the managers was out there, so I didn't want to have a camera trying to film us unloading it. We got it off perfect, and uh, we are heading up to Blacksburg now. We got another driver that's making runs too, so we've had a pretty busy day today, but we are a little ways away, coming through Salem now. Then we got to pick up a Nissan Sentra, and then uh, I am going to have to go to Kernersville to pick up that travel trailer here shortly i think i gotta roll out about two o'clock so we got a couple more we gotta hit before then but all right so we got that one dropped off at christiansburg from christiansburg going to carmax we put a really good uh, customer of ours got this one loaded up with fire stand sorry i didn't film anything it's just been back to back to back i've been having a, my dispatchers off today i've been having a dispatch calls um just while <laughs> going down the road taking phone calls it's been pretty hectic so this guy's from nevada Poor car blew up, unfortunately. So it's going to the Hyundai dealership to get a new motor put in it. But uh, lovely price of fuel right now. I don't know where y'all are at, but it's like 309 here. So it should be like an $80 fill up. We were pretty low. But I'm gonna get this one dropped off. I really need to put brake pads on this truck today. So we're gonna try to get back to the shop and do that if, uh, if I can slow down for a minute. And then I'm off to Kernersville, North Carolina to pick that travel trailer up. So I'll try to keep y'all updated as best as I can. but. If it gets hectic, I gotta put the camera down and then focus on working, so. All right, so we finally got a breather. Got the 550 in the shop. Uh, really needs front brakes. You can see, I mean, they're, these things are terrible with brake dust. Hard to keep it clean. This thing's filthy, though. We've had torrential rain here the past couple days, so. Uh, I think it's supposed to rain again, so I probably won't wash it right now, but um, definitely, definitely putting pads on this thing. Got the new. Wagner Super Duty pads for it. Ready to roll. Some beefy, beefy pads. And I don't know if it really needs them, but it is grinding a little bit on that passenger side wheel. So before it damages the rotor, caliper, uh, I'm gonna pull them off, see if one side's worn down a little bit more than the other one. I, I don't know if I got a stuck caliper or what's going on, but um, I'll be able to tell once I get it pulled apart. So. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and uh, y'all can watch me pull this thing apart. Reason number one why we always check our equipment. If something feels wrong, always pull into the shop, take it apart, figure out what's going on. Um, took it apart and the caliper literally fell into pieces and it's shattered. So, um, and I felt the vibration in the passenger side wheel. So I'm gonna take it to that caliper shot as well. Um, the pads, they, they're they wearing a little bit uneven, which makes sense, but the insides are worn down pretty good that's really hot and the outsides are um, pretty pretty screwed up so <sighs> trying to get this done before I go down to North Carolina so I'm gonna get the other side pulled apart see what we can figure out but uh that sucks but that's why we always pull it in check it out if there's a problem all right so update on the 550 every single heavy-duty brake caliper for four chassis is on a nationwide back quarter apparently uh, luckily the boys down at the Ford dealership could get uh, a set in for me in the morning I'm gonna go ahead and do both they changed from the ceramic design that they had over to uh, to obviously metal piston design the ceramic ones just got hot and brittle uh, so they are the new updated ones so they'll be in tomorrow but uh, we are on the way to Kernersville North Carolina to pick up that camper uh, about hour 58 minutes out about 100 miles so we just stopped for fuel filled up the old Duramax here and uh, we're gonna pick it up this guy buys and sells them and he has me transport them super easy just back up hook and go and be done with it so but I will pick y'all up when we get there all right we're about to roll out of Kernersville got everything hooked up good old Duramax it is a 23 foot toy hauler. Never seen one this small before, honestly. Nice looking camper though. 
did a pre-check all the tires are full lights work so ready to roll back home to good old christiansburg virginia so, whew, it's beauty. all right we just dropped that camper it's been it's been a long day i didn't film the drop i just want to get it unhooked and ready to roll um but thank you for tuning in first video i know a lot of y'all like to see this type of stuff but i get questions all the time about what we do every day and uh, i feel like this is a good way to show it to y'all so i'm gonna get a uh head cam like a head mount for the gopro that way i can film a little bit better and more of what i'm doing instead of just picking up the camera and saying hey this is what we did uh, so the videos will get better as time gets on it's just the first one trial and error so hopefully i can sit down and edit this uh pretty quickly and get it out um, I'm gonna film again tomorrow and we'll film another video. Uh, I know I got to put back to 550 tomorrow Hopefully those brake calipers come in so uh, and then We're just gonna be towing all day. So uh, Stay tuned and uh, stick around hit that follow button. I appreciate y'all watching today. Take care